Good morning. So I'm just finished my park run. It's very wet and very windy out, so it was pretty miserable. And I felt like I was really slow going, but my watch tells me I did it in like 26.47. So that's quicker than I thought, but it's still not terribly quick. And I'll wait and see what park runs time gives me when I get back. That one beat me up today. So I'm home, I'm showered, and I'm changed. I just want to talk about something really, really quickly. It's St. Patrick's weekend. Ireland are playing Wales in the last day of the Six Nations. If Wales win today, they win the tournament and a Grand Slam. If Ireland win today, they stop Wales getting a Grand Slam. And depending on how many points we're able to beat them by, we'll actually be able to win the tournament as well. So it really is all to play for this afternoon. And I know what you're thinking, it's St. Patrick's weekend, Ireland are playing in the rugby, I really should be wearing green. But I decided to wear my black Ireland jersey. This is a really old Ireland jersey. I'm not superstitious, but pretty much a lot of the times when I wear my green jersey, Ireland don't play as well. And like in my experience, since I've had my green jersey and this black jersey, Ireland have won far more when I've worn this black jersey than they have when I've worn the green jersey. So I'm not taking any chances today and I'm wearing this one. I'm just down in Tesco and I'm not doing full groceries today. I'm just getting enough to get us through today and tomorrow. But just a quick update because I wasn't wearing any green. I've decided to wear my green hoodie over my Ireland jersey because it'll keep me warm and I can still represent for St. Patrick's Day. So when I was coming back from my park run today, I noticed that there's like a flower in the garden or it seems like actually there's a couple of them in the garden but one or two of them have started to sprout. I have no idea what they were. I don't remember them being there when we moved in last summer though. So it's weird. It looks like did somebody like stealth plant flowers in my front garden. I don't know. Me and Frank are just chilling in the sitting room because Elaine is making lunch and Frank was trying to help but he was kind of more getting in the way so I brought him into the sitting room and we're just going to chill out until it's time for lunch. But this is where the dog spends quite a bit of his time when we're in the house with them actually. He's just the prettiest dog I have ever seen. I literally just want to spend all of my time with him. I love him so much. So one of the biggest adjustments about having the dog is that we can't leave plates of food or anything down on the table because he will try and eat them. But what we've discovered is that if we sit down and we just start eating and we ignore him, he'll sit and look at us for about a minute or two minutes and then he'll just go to bed and he'll wait until we're finished eating and ready to pay attention to him again. So he's actually really, really well behaved and he doesn't really beg off us when we're having food. And that is absolutely amazing. I really didn't expect him to behave like that, but I'm so, so glad that he does. So we're just waiting for the match to start now and Kieran's on his way over. We've probably got about 50 odd minutes before the match actually starts and I know what the situation is now. So basically, if we beat Wales today, we're relying on Scotland to beat England and that match starts at 5pm and if that happens, then Ireland will win the Six Nations. But if we beat Wales today and England beat Scotland, Wales will still win the Six Nations, but we will have denied them a Grand Slam. And I would prefer that outcome than to lose to Wales today. I really, really, really don't want Ireland to lose at all. That noise in the background is the Nespresso machine because I'm just making coffee. So Kirzi's here with us now and Myself and Kieran are having some green beer because it's Patrick's weekend. So we're 10 minutes into the match and Wales scored a try after like the first minute and a half. 
so it's not looking good for Ireland so far but it's still very very early days so we're half time it is 13 nil to Wales so far it's gonna be very difficult now for Ireland to beat Wales this afternoon but yeah I just I hope they can turn this around And that is how we make the green beer. So do not be fooled. It is just regular beer with a couple of drops of green food coloring. So the match is over and did not go Ireland's way at all. I was By the end of it, I was cheering for Ireland just to put points on the board. That's how bad things were going. And in the end, it ended 26-7 to Wales and Ireland scored a try right at the very end. It was the last play of the game and that was the only points they scored in the whole match. So yeah, it really wasn't a great afternoon for Irish rugby. Oh, it's very dark now. It's over now and we can enjoy the rest of the afternoon and we're gonna watch the next match which is England and Scotland. And Wales have won the Six Nations so there's no real kind of pressure involved. It'll just be nice to watch some rugby that we don't have any skin in the game for. So Kieran is gone and we're just getting ready for dinner and Elaine is doing all of the work, I'm not going to lie. Um, and Frank has been just kind of wandering around and sniffing and vaguely getting in the way a little bit but he's been very very good and he has now just taken himself off to bed. And he will sit there probably until we're ready to go back inside and chill out for the rest of the evening. So for dinner tonight, Elaine made carbonara and it was very, very tasty. Before the Six Nations, the last game Ireland played was against New Zealand, who were the best team in the world, and we beat them and we were seeded as the second best team in the world. And I just felt like, you know, this really, this could be our year, but really Ireland did not play well at all in the Six Nations this year. And if they play anything like that in the World Cup, they're not going to do very well at all. And as I said earlier, I'm not a superstitious guy, and clearly my black jersey proved me right because it made no bit of difference as to whether or not Ireland will win or lose a game. Okay, I'm gonna take it easy for the rest of the night now and just chill on the couch with Frank and Elaine. Okay, so it's now Sunday and it is St. Patrick's Day. Uh, me and Frank are just out for a quick walk. It's a really, really nice day today. It's much nicer than yesterday. It only rained for about five minutes earlier on but it's still pretty windy and pretty cold out. So I don't want to keep him out too long. Elaine and I are just out doing the groceries now. And just as I was bringing Frank back from the walk, the heavens opened and we got lashed on. It was only for a minute, but it just reminded me that I should never say that a day is particularly good or bad this time of year in Ireland because the weather can change like that. So if you're wondering why our couch looks a little bit different, it's because, I think I mentioned this before at, in one of my videos, but our couch folds out into a bed and we've decided that this evening we're going to sit and chill with Frank on the couch, but we've turned the couch into a bed so everyone can completely sprawl out on the bed and we're not all cramped. Good morning. So it is now Monday. And because yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, we have a bank holiday here in Ireland, which means that we don't have to go to work today, which is very, very exciting. But also, Elaine's mom is coming up from Waterford to meet Frank today, so we are just getting everything ready to go and collect her from the train station. So we'll be leaving in about 15, 20 minutes, and in about five minutes, I'm gonna take Frank out and just let him roam around the back garden for a few minutes just before we go because he hasn't had his walk yet this morning and normally what we do in the mornings is we give him a walk and then when he comes back in Elaine will normally be gone to work at this stage but I'll just give him a chew toy and leave him and go to work 
So this morning, just to try and keep some semblance of normality for him, we're just gonna kind of let him run around in the back garden for a few minutes before we do all of those things. He's getting very distracted because there's a couple of dogs behind him and he's a bit nervous of other dogs. And I think he just doesn't like the idea that they could creep up on him and he wouldn't know. Other than his dog anxiety, he's having a great old walk today. He's really, really enjoying it. And it's actually, like last night when I had him out, he was really enjoying the walk as well. And today he seems to really be enjoying the walk. And it's the first time in probably about a week that he seems to actually be enjoying the walk so we don't have to just drag him around. Because up to this, he hasn't really wanted to get off the couch. been out walking for a little while now and he's passed a good few dogs and he's kind of been fine with them he's been actually engaging and saying hello and just doing all of the dog things and he hasn't been too nervous so yeah it's a, I think we've made a lot of progress now today I just dropped Elaine's mom back to the train station a little while ago and we had a really nice day. We were just kind of hanging out with Frank and she got on really, really well with Frank and he kept like snuggling into her and stuff and he just wanted to hang out with her all day. So that was really, really nice. And since we got back, Elaine and I have just had our dinner and we're just gonna kind of take it easy for the rest of the evening now. So I'm gonna leave this video here. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.